Is anyone beyond God's grace? Are there people whose evil deeds are just way outside of the realm of God's forgiveness? No, absolutely not. Not even the most grossly immoral, spirit-worshipping, violent person. No one is beyond hope because God's grace is greater than all of our sin. Hey there, my name is Joyce Samondi Wahiga. Welcome to another episode of Sitam Church Online. Now, 2 Chronicles chapter 33, verse 10 to 13 says, The Lord spoke to Manasseh and his people, but they ignored all his warnings. So the Lord sent the commanders of the Assyrian armies, and they took Manasseh prisoner. They put a ring through his nose, bound him in bronze chains, and led him away to Babylon. But while in distress, deep distress, Manasseh sought the Lord his God and sincerely humbled himself before the Lord, the God of his ancestors. And when he prayed, the Lord listened to him and was moved by his request. So the Lord brought Manasseh back to Jerusalem and to his kingdom. Then Manasseh finally realized that the Lord alone is God. Now, if there was a list of the most corrupt kings ever, Manasseh would feature very strongly in the top five, maybe even in the top two, okay? Um, it was quite a shame too, because his father, Hezekiah, was actually a pretty good guy. Um, but Manasseh, as someone would say, oh my, wa my, it was that bad. Now, this guy had a catalog of evil deeds. He reversed all the good things his father had done. He worshiped idols. He desecrated the temple and even sacrificed his own children. By every standard, he was the most wicked king of Judah. And he just totally provoked God's anger. But as God was carrying out his judgment upon Manasseh, Manasseh cried out, to God and he realized his sins he humbled himself greatly and you know what God forgave him God actually forgave this guy and listened to him think about it if you were God and then this guy has set up altars in your temple he's worshipped them there even sacrificed children would you have mercy on him? Would you forgive him? Or would you say, you know what, by the way, you're on your own. You didn't listen to me in the first place. You're gonna have to deal with the consequences. I shared previously that God is a God of justice, but he is also a God of love and mercy. And God showed justice to Manasseh in warning him about the consequences of his sin and in punishing him but he also showed mercy to him by responding to his heartfelt repentance and forgiving him and restoring him. Manasseh's repentance and God's forgiveness are in many ways completely unexpected. Manasseh's life was changed and he got a new start. This is part of why the love of God just completely astounds me. There's simply nothing like it. If God can forgive Manasseh, surely he can forgive anyone. And so his story should really bring hope to every sinner. Romans chapter 10 verse 13 says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. No one is beyond the hope of God's grace. And so, are you burdened by guilt? You've just had overwhelming guilt, maybe for months, for years. Do you doubt that God could ever forgive you for the things that you have done? 
For as long as you are still breathing, you are within reach of God's forgiveness and you can make things right with him. There's a song I absolutely love that says, I'm free indeed, in Christ I'm free indeed, no chains are holding me. I'm free indeed, I was blind, but now I see it's who I'm meant to be. There's at least one of you who's watching this right now and maybe God has already been chasing you down for a long, long time. He's been trying to get your attention. It's time for you to stop running and to just cry out in surrender to God before it's too late. It's literally your sincere repentance that is holding you back from a life of redemption and a life of just satisfaction in God. And all it takes is just a prayer and that heartfelt desire to truly turn away from sin. That's all that God needed from Manasseh. He was literally just waiting for the guy to repent. And so maybe someone is out there like, ah, Joyce, no, 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 you don't know what I've done. You have no idea. I've hurt so many people. My family won't forgive me. My friends won't forgive me. There is no way that God can forgive me for what I've done. You think that your sin is way too great. There is hope for you because God's forgiveness is not limited by the amount of your sin. It is only limited by our willingness to repent. And so God is standing at the door of your heart right now. And the question is, will you let him in? I pray that there's a stirring in your heart right now. And if you feel it, don't hold back. Don't waste another second. Don't waste another minute. Don't waste another day. There is such a great life ahead of you, a life of promise and of rightness and oneness with God. And if that's your desire, I'd like to lead you in the prayer of repentance right now. All you have to do is just say this prayer after me and mean it from the bottom of your heart. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you, oh God, because by the blood of Jesus, I can be free. I pray that you would wash me clean Forgive me of my sin and write my name in the book of life. Today I declare that I am your child. Walk with me, guide me, and lead me on to life everlasting. In Jesus' name. If you've said that prayer, you're just like Manasseh. Like you may have done the worst and the worst of things, but right now, in this instant, you are a new creation and everything that you have done in your past is now gone. You have a tremendous future ahead of you. And I pray that you would connect with us at Sitam Church Online. We'd love to connect you with one of our churches as well, maybe even to find a counselor online. Whatever it is that you need, we want you to know that we are here for you. We're so happy for you. There's a huge celebration going on right now in heaven. Congratulations. This is the best decision you could have ever made for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Again, you can catch up with me on social media at Joyce and Wendy, um, on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We look forward to another episode next week. Until then, take care.